So in this video, we're uncovering everything that you need to know about the affiliate marketing business. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get started with affiliate marketing, some of the best practices, some of the best niches, some of the best ways to build this affiliate marketing business. We've been doing this for over a decade now. We've made tens of thousands of dollars in this process of affiliate marketing. And I wanna share it with you here today in this video. It's gonna be a bit longer. This is gonna be a full tutorial, okay? So I do recommend taking out a pen, taking out a piece of paper, and writing down some notes as we go through this video. My goal here is to be as valuable as possible to you and really just dump as much information to you as possible in the next uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. I know there's a lot of other distractions you could be doing right now, but I can promise you that you, if you sit here and you focus on some of the things that we're gonna be teaching you in this video, you can take this, apply this to your own affiliate marketing business and potentially make money. I can't promise that you'll make money, um, but you know there certainly is some potential there. So uh, let's go ahead, get started with it. Um, a couple of things that I just need to get out of the way uh, right off the bat here is that first of all, we are not selling you a course. There's no mentorship. I'm a true believer in free information, okay? Um, and so you don't have to go out and pay people to learn how to do this. I learned how to do it for totally free by watching videos like this and reading blog articles about affiliate marketing. Um, so just please be careful. There's a lot of bad actors out there who will try to sell you like really expensive courses and they're really just not worth it. You can do most of this for free, okay? So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Now, let's first start off by trying to set some expectations Actually, here's just a quick overview of some of the things we're talking about, right? And you can skip around if you'd like to, but I do recommend sticking through the whole thing. You know, we're talking about uh, what is affiliate marketing. Then we'll talk about uh, why affiliate marketing is one of the best businesses, I believe, to start. Um, and then talk about choosing a niche, building a website, uh, how to find products, free versus paid traffic, how to get traffic, optimizing your content, and scaling your affiliate marketing business, okay? We're talking about all those different topics, but we're first starting off right now with setting expectations, setting goals, and understanding what is realistic uh, versus what's going to be a bit far-fetched, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now that, you know, if you're expecting to make a million dollars by next month, it's it's probably not going to happen. Um, and it is something, especially with the affiliate marketing business, it is something that takes quite a bit of time. And I think in our first year of running an affiliate marketing business, we probably made like, a couple hundred dollars and uh, by year two we made a few thousand dollars and then it started to scale up quite a bit from there. Now hopefully you can fast track that a little bit with some of the tactics that we give you. Okay, so what is affiliate marketing? I wanna clear this up for anyone who might have some confusion here. Uh, effectively what affiliate marketing is, uh, is you're marketing a product for a company and in return, you're getting a, a basically a commission. So think about how like real estate agents work, right? Like they don't own the house, but they will list the house and they will show people the house. And if someone buys it, the real estate agent gets a small commission, right? Same for like people who sell cars, right? Uh, car sales, right? Um, if you think of it that way, that's basically kind of what affiliate marketing is, but for the internet and for a very wide variety of products, okay? So what you're doing is uh, most companies actually have affiliate programs. So think about like Nike or Adidas or, um, you know, really any company that sells a product tends to have an affiliate program. I'll show you how to access those and find those affiliate programs later on. Um, but basically you're, you're just marketing for a company and they're giving you a piece of the pie. They're giving you a small cut, uh, a, a commission essentially for giving them a customer, right? And so this is a really interesting business model because it doesn't require you to actually go out and, and like own the products and buy the products, but simply just focus on the marketing. And this is why I really love this style of business. So that's what affiliate marketing is. You don't own the products. You don't have inventory. Uh, you're simply marketing for other companies and they're giving you a cut. They're giving you a commission for marketing their products. Now, typically this is done through something called affiliate links. Um, and so this is a special link that a company will give you. So for example, um, if I partnered with Nike uh, to market some of their shoes, then maybe perhaps uh, we would create the partnership and uh, they would give me a special link and it's like nike.com slash Nate O'Brien affiliate something, right? That's just an arbitrary link there that I just said, right? right? But they'll give you a special link uh, that basically tracks whenever someone clicks on your specific link, maybe they're on your website um, or they're on your Instagram page, your TikTok, and they click on your specific link and then they buy something through that link, then 
the affiliate marketer will get a commission. And that's all predetermined uh, in the contract beforehand on how much you're actually getting paid for something like that, okay? Um, and like I said, I will show you like the more details of this. So if you're still a little bit confused, don't worry, I'll clear all of that up later on in the video. Um, but there's also another thing called cookie length. And basically like when people click on your link, sometimes they might not buy something for like a couple of days or even a couple of weeks, but you'll still get credit for that sale weeks down the road sometimes uh, if that cookie length is long enough. I'll also explain cookies later on as well. So but that, that's basically what affiliate marketing is um, in the simplest terms. You're just marketing products for other people and for other brands, other companies, and you're just focused on the marketing. Most of this is done through websites or through social media or some other outlets that we'll talk about, okay? So that's what affiliate marketing is. Now, why would someone want to start an affiliate marketing business? And why do I think that this is the best opportunity for someone looking to build a business in this year. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why. First of all, it has a low startup cost, okay? So uh, we, we've sold products, we, we still sell physical products uh, through our e-commerce businesses. And you know, that's a lot of work. We have in-house, like we have products, we have to ship them out, we have to deal with customers. That's a lot of work, okay? With an affiliate marketing business, it is so much more streamlined where you don't have to deal with customers, uh, you have very low startup costs, and you can do it from really anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer, you have some internet, which you're watching this video, so I assume that you do, okay? So those three reasons are why I really love this. The startup costs for affiliate marketing, I would say you can do this for totally free, but I would budget maybe a couple hundred dollars uh, just for you know maybe building a website, uh, making it look a little bit more professional. So if you have that budget of a couple hundred dollars, that's at most all you're gonna need to build an affiliate marketing business. Um, but like I said, you can do it for totally free as well. Um, and most other businesses, you can't do that. Like if you wanna go out and start like a, a um, snow plowing company where you plow snow for all your neighbors, you gotta buy a truck, you gotta buy a plow, you have all these things you have to pay for, but affiliate marketing business, super lean, anyone can do this, right? If you're under the age of 18, might be a little bit of some problems because you usually have to be 18 to do a lot of this, talk to your parents, see if you can set something up. That's what I did um, when I started on it, okay? So one of the biggest questions that people have too is, how much money can you make from this? What's a realistic number that you can make from affiliate marketing? Um, so I think most people that do affiliate marketing, uh, a lot of people end up making maybe a couple hundred dollars a month, maybe a few thousand dollars a year, but then there's people who can really take it to the next level. And I have a lot of friends who have done this and we've done this as well, where you can scale this up into the millions of dollars. And uh, I have a lot of blogger friends, finance blogger friends who are pumping eight, nine, ten million dollars a year from their blogs. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you can actually fact check this and do some Google searches and, and find it. It's kind of hard to find, but you can definitely find it. Um, and so, for example, there was a finance blog uh, of a guy that I met uh, years ago, and it, it's called The Penny Hoarder, and it, it's a finance blog, okay? It's a blog. He does affiliate marketing. Most of the revenue comes from affiliate marketing, and he sold that blog for $102 million a few years ago. Okay, and this is from an affiliate marketing business. Uh, other companies like Bankrate uh, make hundreds of millions of dollars per year in revenue from their affiliate marketing. Um, so this is a very viable, very legitimate business that can be scaled up. Now, given most people don't scale to $100 million on their affiliate marketing business, um, but it is certainly possible. And I, I can tell you, I have dozens or hundreds of friends who are running blogs in 2023 who are making very good money from it. So um, don't think that blogs are are done and blogs are out and nobody reads them. I can guarantee you, trust me, because I have the checks coming in on a quarterly basis from some of the companies that we own or have partnerships in where we're making money from our blogs on affiliate marketing, okay? So uh, it is still very possible to grow a business like this. Some of the strategies have changed a bit, you know, versus like social media, focusing on short form, on TikTok versus on blogs. We'll talk all about that uh, later on, okay? Okay, so how do we choose a niche to promote products? Um, this is really crucial because you can't just create an everything website, right? Um, so the primary way that you're gonna be making money through affiliate marketing is probably gonna be through your website or through your social media. But regardless, you're going to need to create a brand. You're going to need to be able to create basically a media brand that you can use to generate content, information about a specific topic, a specific niche that then you can funnel to uh, the affiliate 
products that you're you're marketing, right? So like, for example, um, if you really love backpacking and camping, right? Uh, you, you would focus on making a backpacking slash hiking slash camping website, social media, everything around that, right? A, a media brand focused on the outdoors, right? Um, and then you would focus on promoting products that are really specific to that, like maybe camping gear. I know tents will sell for like a thousand dollars, packs and, and cooking gear and all these different things will sell for a lot of money. A lot of them do have affiliate programs. Um, and if they don't have an affiliate program for something that you're looking for, in a lot of cases, uh, they they will build one for you. And we've, we've gone through this so many times, dozens of times, where we're driving traffic to um, a, a company or maybe we have like a blog article about some of the best hikes and it's getting like five or 10,000 page views per month. And then we reach out to some companies that say, hey, like we would love to promote your um, specific backpacking tent on this article. It's getting a lot of page views. You don't have an affiliate program. Can you create one for us? And in a lot of cases, they will do it. So it's pretty cool. Um, but in terms of choosing a niche, what's the best way to go about this? I would recommend uh, choosing a niche that you are already familiar with, maybe you're passionate about like camping or backpacking. For me, it was just kind of an obvious one, right? Because I already understand the space. Um, I understand the types of products that we could potentially promote in that space because I, I know about it. Um, it would be a problem if I tried to start like an affiliate marketing uh, media brand around like uh, cosmetics and makeup, I don't know anything about that. I know this is literally nothing about it. And so it'd be kind of difficult for me to do that. I would rather stick with the things that I already understand, like uh, camping and, and outdoors. And then we have a finance blog. We have, we have a bunch of different ones. We have a real estate blog. Um, and so that's what I would recommend doing. If, if you're stuck on uh, like topics or niches and you're thinking about which one you should go with, let me just tell you that uh, there's really not a right or wrong one to go with. I think if anything, I would choose something that's very specific um, because there is a lot of competition these days. And I'm, I'm just being very honest here, okay? So like if you try to start a credit card blog today in 2023, going into 2024, uh, there's gonna be a lot of competition, okay? It's gonna be hard to rank in Google, rank uh, on, on social media and do well with like a credit card media brand. You can make a lot of money, but it, it's tough to tap into. Whereas if you start um, a media brand that is, you know, maybe like it's all about sailing, right? Or it's all about uh, fishing, or it's all about um, something very specific, then I think you're going to have a better chance at winning overall. So you start with the niche, you start with a very niche down website media brand, and then you can branch out from there. But just be careful that you don't start really big and broad, like, um, like you're a sports media brand, and then like, you don't really know where to take it, okay? So don't try to just go out and be like the next like ESPN right off the bat, okay? If you're trying to do this, start with like a specific sport. Like you start with like a lacrosse uh, media brand and then you branch out from there, you know, years down the road, you can, you know, branch into rugby, football, basketball, other sports, but you need to start with a specific niche and then branch out. Trust me, I've made that mistake before where I tried to start with a really wide uh, kind of broad brand and it just it, it was really hard to actually get it off the ground okay um if you're still stuck on like niches to pick for which brand media brand you're going to create um then there's two different options first of all you can go to uh the list of hobbies on wikipedia there's like a whole wikipedia page on list of hobbies i really love this page i've spent so much time on there and we've got some really great ideas from this, but just read through this. Like, there's like hundreds of different hobbies that people have. It could be something like birding, um, or sailing, or all these other ones that you probably have. Like, been like what? I'd never even heard of this before. Uh, but you realize that there's a potential to create a media brand focused on one of these hobbies. Um, and if you still don't find anything good on that list, then you can always go to trusty chat GPT and ask and say, hey, give me a list of 100 uh, hobbies um, and it's gonna spit it out some really, some really interesting ones. So um, once you find your niche, okay, once you find your niche, now you need to start actually building this media brand so that you can get traffic, you can get views, you can get page views that then can convert to your affiliate links, okay? This is the whole point of this. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to build a basic website and some of the things that you need to understand here, okay? 
So what we're gonna do is we want to build a basic site because a lot of affiliate programs, they actually require you to have a domain. So um, I know like, for example, Amazon Associates, right? You can become an affiliate partner with Amazon and pretty much anything that gets sold on Amazon, you can make like a couple percent uh, commission on that. But in order to get access to the program, uh, they require you to have a domain, like a website, right? So uh, for me, when I first started, it was like youtube.com slash Nate O'Brien was like the first one that I did and Amazon let me on to it. Um, but this is why I recommend having a website, creating a blog. This is gonna be like the backbone of your affiliate marketing business is going to be a blog, okay? And even if you're focused on like scaling social media and maybe getting like a lot of uh, Instagram reels and TikToks, you still wanna funnel them back to your blog because that's going to be the backbone of any affiliate marketing business. Just trust me on that. Um, and it's, it's like one of the best ways to consistently make money on affiliate marketing is if you can rank your blog on Google search, okay? This is one of the most important things you can possibly do. Um, and so what we need to do is build a website and one of the best places to do that is through Wix. So um, if you just go to sandtrailmedia.com slash Wix and you can get started uh, creating a site on there. Now there are other options as well. Um, we obviously do like Wix, but you can use something like Hostinger to build a WordPress website. It's relatively inexpensive. It's like a few dollars per month. Um, so it's, it's pretty cheap to get your brand up and running. I do recommend locking down a pretty solid domain, something like .com. Um, and so let me just kind of create like an arbitrary uh, one for you here today to show you how I would build this affiliate marketing business from scratch right now. So now I'm gonna show you this basic website build um, because this really is the backbone of your affiliate marketing business is to have a website, okay? So um, let's just create one here and I think what we're gonna do for the niche um, for the purpose of this video is I'm gonna create a blog about investing, specifically about investing. It's pretty niche down, but I know all the finance apps. I've used all the finance apps. And so I can write some really good articles about this. Um, and I'm gonna build this site on Wix. So we can just click on start now. And I'm just gonna go through and create this Wix account. And the most important thing that I'm doing right now is really just grabbing a domain for my investing uh, blog. Um, and I wanna grab this domain early because I've seen people where they'll build like social media, you know, they'll create like a TikTok or an Instagram, but they won't buy their domain and they won't set up their website and then someone else will, will scarf it up. Like they'll see their TikTok doing really well and someone will go and buy their like website and they're like, oh damn, well I should have bought this earlier, right? So uh, this is why we're doing this right now. And then they're gonna take you through a series of questions. Um, you can kind of skip through a lot of this. We're just gonna skip through it now. And we are creating a blog and we can go to the dashboard. Now Wix does have a free version, but you're gonna to wanna to get your domain because um, as I mentioned earlier, like if s someone's gonna scarf up your domain, like if you build an Instagram, you build a TikTok uh, or a YouTube channel and someone's going to scarf up your domain um, if you don't get it, okay? So uh, they have a variety of different business plans available, right? So we can go and we can look at the different plans that we have available for Wix. Now, you obviously don't have to go for the business elite or enterprise. You can go for the light or the core plan um, or the business plan right off the bat in the beginning. Um, and this is kind of where the startup costs come in. Like this is gonna be one of your only costs that you have. Um, and you do have a 14 day money back guarantee from Wix. So if you change your mind in a week or something, you can certainly get your money back there. Um, at least that's what they are advertising and we've, we've done that before in the past, okay? Um, and right now we're getting 50% off on premium plans. A lot of this might change, it might differ. Um, I can't promise you're gonna get these deals uh, through the link below in the description, you know, a couple months from now uh, from when we're making this video, but you can certainly check it out, okay? So we're gonna go with the business plan because it's gonna give us 100 gigabytes of storage space. Um, and then we also have a free domain for a year, which is a pretty great uh, opportunity there. And then we can also do things like um, have site analytics on there. So we're gonna go with the business plan. Uh, don't don't be shy to go with the core plan as well though, if, if you want to, um, you just don't have as many features, not as much storage, but it, it does work for creating a, a basic blog, okay? So we're going with the business plan. Um, we're gonna go on the yearly plan. You can go more if you want, you're actually gonna save money if you go for those longer term ones. Um, but we're just gonna go with the yearly one. We're gonna continue to check out and we're going to 
uh, purchase this. So um, if, if you don't like the cost of this, uh, you could look at something like Hostinger. We have some tutorials on it. Um, I'll show you that and I will leave a link to that below in the description as well. Um, and for this, you'll get it for a little bit cheaper, like $2.99 per month. Um, but it's, it's a lot more confusing. It's like it takes more time to set up because you're going through WordPress. Um, so either one, Wix or Hostinger, they're both great. They're both ones that I would recommend to people. Um, and we we use both for our various different affiliate sites. Um, also through Wix, you're gonna get things like, uh, you're gonna be able to create a link in bio, a really professional looking link in bio with your domain that you can use on like your Instagram, your TikTok, um, all your other social media, even Snapchat, um, you can use and you can build that link in bio page on the Wix platform. It's a lot of other things besides just a blog. So uh, let me just put in my card info and start uh, creating this website. Okay, and now I have the premium plan here. I have the business plan, and now I can get my domain that I get for a year for free, which is pretty awesome. So let's see if we can buy centralinvesting.com. Now, you, you do want your domain to be as short as possible. I remember reading a study about this uh, where the longer the domain, the harder it is to rank on Google um, and just kind of like the less traffic you're gonna get overall. If you have like a really long, you know, 80 character long website name, it's just gonna be too long. So try to keep it pretty simple. Make sure that you're not infringing on anyone else's trademarks, um, but as simple as possible is going to be your best bet. So let's see if we can get centralinvesting.com and great, it's available. So that's perfect for our investing blog. Um, I also would recommend recommend that uh, the name of the website should be kind of uh, indicative of what the content is about. So like, for example, you're not going to have um, a, an investing blog that uh, is like hikers something paradise.com, right? Like that doesn't make any sense. If you're talking about investing content, but the domain name is about hiking and backpacking, it doesn't make sense, right? So make sure that it lines up and you choose your niche um, and you create the domain that is relevant to that, okay? So Central Investing is a great domain. I love this one. Uh, I'm just gonna click that I'm done. And now my website is just about set up. I have to go down to this bottom section here and connect my domain to my website. Um, but this is why I love working uh, on the Wix platform because they make it really easy for you to do. Uh, sometimes like it's pretty hard for people, like if you're using WordPress, it can be pretty confusing. Um, we do have tutorials on it, but it, it, it can be pretty overwhelming. Wix makes things pretty easy, right? Um, so I wanna connect centralinvesting.com. And let's go ahead and get that domain. And so we do get this for free for one year for $0. We can get it for longer if we want to. I'm, I'm just gonna get it for one year for now. Um, and I have to enter this information again, even though it is free for this year, I'm still gonna have to enter it. So let me do that now. And then I would get a private registration for your domain because if it's public, people can see your information, um, you know, like your phone number and your address. So I would definitely recommend uh, just paying that little extra to have that private. Um, I'm gonna click continue here. And now our centralinvesting.com is going to be connected to our site here. And then we can start building out our website. And this is the really fun part, like you're building something from scratch. Um, but once you start getting it up and running and it starts ranking on Google for your various different blog articles, it's a really great feeling. Even if, you're, if, you, even if you have like 10 people per day or 25 people per day uh, coming to your website, you have to realize that's like a classroom of people. Um, and if you have a few hundred people, you have 300, 400 people per day coming to your website, that's an auditorium of people coming to your website every single day just to see what you have to say, okay? Um, so it, it, it's a really cool thing. Uh, you, you can also get a mailbox. Uh, I'm not gonna do this right now, but it is pretty cool. Like your email could just be your name at yourdomain.com. Um, so I use that all the time, like, like nate at nateobryan.com. Um, and it, it looks pretty cool, but I don't really need that right now. So I can skip this. And now we just need to verify our uh, email. So let me just do that now. And make sure that you do this, okay? You have to verify your contact information. Otherwise, your uh, domain will be suspended, okay? So check your email, verify this information. It's pretty easy to do. Um, verify, 
And there we go. Now it's verified. We can go back to our website and we can start building this out. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh this. And luckily Wix makes this pretty easy. Uh, if you go up to this upper left corner, you'll see like the steps here for setting up your blog. So you can create your first blog post. Then we have our custom domain, design our website and get found on Google. So let's just do this super quick, right? And the great thing about living in today's age is you can just have ChatGPT help you write blog articles. Um, and so you can crank these out very, very quickly. So let's say we wanna do one like um, M1 finance versus Fidelity best investing apps 2023, right? And then for this, we can just go to ChatGPT. And have ChatGPT potentially write articles for us. You want to make sure you're not plagiarizing because, you know, you don't want to get sued by someone for like copying their work. So can't guarantee that uh, ChatGPT is going to be uh, the best option for you, but we've used it to help get ideas for something. So don't just completely copy and paste, uh, but you can just say, write a blog article for this topic. And click enter. And ChatGPT will literally write an article for us comparing M1 Finance and Fidelity, which is pretty wild. Um, I like this would have been a massive game changer uh, if we were using this for years, but uh, it just came out, you know, last year, so it is still pretty new. Okay, and so ChatGPT wrote this article for us. We can just copy this, change some of the wording, make sure that you know you're not plagiarizing. Um, you know, put some spaces in there, right? Make some things bold. I'm not gonna do it for the sake of time here right now, uh, but you kind of get the point there on how you want to set that up. And then you can publish that article. And voila, just like that, uh, we have created our first blog article. Um, and now we have two more steps to go on building out our blog here. So we already have the custom domain. Now we can design the site. Let's do that. Um, we can let Wix create the site for us or we can customize a designed template. We might as well let Wix create this for us. It's gonna get a lot easier for us. So create a logo. Uh, you can do this on something like Canva um, and then uh, your email, your address, phone number, all this other stuff. Um, you can go through this process. I'm gonna kind of just skip through this very quickly um, because I don't want to clog up all your time showing you how to do this. Let's say we like this one. And we want perhaps an about page um, and an advertised page um, and an as seen in page. These are all cool ones to have. And now they are building our websites. My goodness, uh, this, this makes things a lot easier. We used to build these things out from scratch on WordPress and it took a lot of time. Um, and just like that, our site is up and running. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's do the final step here for Wix. And the final step is getting found on Google. And so now we're going to start our SEO journey and getting started uh, with Google. So our business name, Santrail Investing. Nationwide. But our site is built here. So we can go to Santrell investing.com and our site is up and running it's going and uh, now we can start ranking on Google now of course uh, we have to build this out and I'll do this later on um, but we even have our first blog article right here and it's gonna start ranking in Google it looks pretty professional but we can you know clean it up a lot uh, in the coming days as I spend more time building this out but that's how you can build that basic website um, it is a very important step to gaining access to affiliate programs and to making your media brand appear much more professional so uh, that's an important step now let's go on and let's talk about uh, how to actually find products to promote you know we talked about niches we talked about building the website now we're going into how to find specific products to promote what are the best ones how do you get paid from it um, and then how do we actually scale this business up and bring it to the next level so let's go do that now 
Okay, so for this finance blog, how do we actually find companies to work with? Um, so because we're doing this on finance and it's gonna be more so like apps and software that we're gonna be doing an affiliate product with rather than, um, you know, if we're making like a, a blog about uh, phishing, maybe it's more like physical products, but for finance, it's gonna be a lot more uh, digital uh, apps and software and things like that, right? So um, in order to find products to promote. We have a couple of different options. There's something called an affiliate network. Um, so we can go onto something like impact.com. And this is an affiliate network that has thousands of different brands that we can find potential partnerships on um, through this site. So it's impact.com. You can create a free account um, and you can uh, attempt to basically um, apply for these various different uh, affiliate programs that are available on this platform, okay? So like here's, you know, they have thousands of different brands and we can sort by finance uh, on this platform. This is one of the main platforms that we use. There are a couple of others as well, like cj.com, uh, Partnerstack. Um, but if we sort through here, let's find the finance section, loans and financial services. And you can see a lot of these brands, like you might actually recognize as well, like H&R Block, right? So if we made a tax YouTube channel um, and then, um, or a tax blog and then promoted H&R Block, we could potentially make some money there. Uh, Fundrise, I've promoted Fundrise before in some of my finance videos. They have an affiliate program, right? Um, Coinbase has an affiliate program. Uh, public.com has an affiliate program. So like we see all these different companies that we can promote. SoFi has an affiliate program. Um, so there's hundreds of finance companies on this platform specifically. Um, if you don't find a company that you really wanna work with there, then the other option for uh, finding an affiliate partnership is to actually just do some basic Google searches. So like, let's say that um, uh, we're big fans of M1 Finance, right? Which I've, I've worked with them a lot in the past, like for the past five or six years now as an affiliate. Um, if we just type in M1 Finance Affiliate Program and see what comes up. And there we go. First thing we have become an affiliate for M1 Finance by just doing a basic Google search, okay? And this is an investing app. And a lot of times they'll tell you like what their terms are on their site uh, to show you like how much can you earn as an affiliate. Um, so you can basically earn unlimited commissions as an affiliate with M1 Finance. Um, and you also get some pretty cool perks as well. Now, it doesn't look like we can see how much we can make right here, but we can still apply for it, right? So there should be a button on here somewhere. And it looks like this one is closed right now at the moment, but I wouldn't let that discourage you because I would just go in that email uh, or slide into people's uh, DMs on LinkedIn who work at a company like this and say, hey, I wanna join the affiliate program. I've done this many, many times as well. When a company doesn't look like it has an affiliate program, uh, like I did this for LegalZoom. So LegalZoom is something that it's like software for like people who um, need like a lawyer or need some, you know, things made uh, for their business, right? Um, and I just slid into DMs on like people who worked at LegalZoom in the marketing department um, and said, hey, I want to promote LegalZoom. I want to work with you. Um, and it worked. So uh, that's another great way for getting into an affiliate program for a company. Um, but as I said earlier, there's, there's really like, I would say the majority of companies are open to affiliate marketing. Um, there's only like maybe 20% of companies who sell a product don't do affiliate marketing. Uh, most others do, okay? Because they know that it's a great way to bring in new customers. Even Amazon does it. So um, there's definitely a lot of options out there for products that you can promote. All right, now I want to briefly talk about the various different ways of getting paid and like how much can you make per customer that you send to a business. Now, this all certainly varies based on the company and the type of product that you are promoting. Um, but let me just show you some examples here. So like with Robinhood, um, if we're on Impact site, we can see that um, if someone downloads Robinhood on iOS and they fund their account, we make $20. If they just sign up on iOS, we make $5. So I think in total between a sign up and a funded account, we can make $25 for every person who signs up for Robinhood, which is a really popular investing app, right? Um, and let's say like, let's say we're doing something in like the men's apparel space. Uh, we can look through here and 
we can find companies and see how much they pay, right? So here's a really popular one, uh, Adidas. Now this is Adidas Canada, is this specific program, but we would earn 5% of online sales. So if someone clicks on your affiliate link that you've uh, gotten through Adidas uh, directly and through the impact account here, uh, if someone spends $100 on Adidas, uh, you would earn $5 as a commission. If someone spends $1,000, you would earn $50 as a commission for sending someone to Adidas who then goes and buys. And now you might say, well, you know, who's going to spend $1,000 on Adidas just for me to make $50? But it's really just a numbers game. So if you can get 100 people to spend $100 each, that's $10,000 in sales. You would make $500 if you can convert 100 people. Now, what if you can convert 1,000 people? What if you can convert 10,000 people? It's really kind of limitless there. Um, and you can see, like, look at, uh, for example, uh, Reebok, right? If you're working with Reebok Canada, and you get 6% commission on everything for 30 days. So it's really important to understand both the commission and then also something called the cookie length, okay? So the cookie length here is 30 days. And basically what this means is that if someone clicks on your link that links to Reebok Canada um, and they click on it today, but they don't buy anything until 29 days later, you still end up getting the money for basically like you get the, the uh, sale, okay? So this is why cookie length is really important because sometimes this cookie length can be different. Sometimes it's seven days, sometimes it's 24 hours. Like with the Amazon Associates Affiliate Program, uh, it's a 24 hour cookie length, which basically means someone clicks on your link, if they don't buy anything in the next 24 hours, you don't get credit for that, right? If someone clicks on your Amazon link and they buy something 48 hours later or 72 hours later, doesn't matter, you're not gonna get any money from that. You only get it in that 24 hour window with Amazon, but with Reebok Canada, for example, anything that they buy within 30 days, regardless of whether like they click on your link and then they X out of it and they just search it up later, you're still getting credit for it within that 30 day span. So it's it's pretty cool. This is why I love affiliate marketing because people don't even know sometimes uh, that they clicked on your link and then you know weeks go by and you still end up uh, making money from that, okay? So even Walmart has an affiliate program, pretty similar to Amazon's as well. So any product that gets sold on Walmart, if you link people to Walmart, you can get an affiliate commission for. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up. Now, uh, a lot of them are going to be kind of like a percent of the revenue that is driven. So like a lot of these are like four, five, six percent um, revenue. Other ones, like if you're doing something like the finance apps, might be that kind of lump sum, like with Webull, the Webull affiliate program, which we will likely promote in this new blog, um, pays pretty well. And it actually gives the person who's promoting them up to nine free stocks for every person that they refer. So you can make quite a bit of money from something like this Webull affiliate program, from the M1 affiliate program, which I think was paying like $50 per person who created an account with M1 Finance. That's the last time I, I remembered it. Um, I am still actually in their affiliate program, so I should just check that. Um, but yeah, that's how you can find those products and that's how you can go about that. Now, let's talk about actually getting traffic. How do you get traffic to your website or to your social media? Um, and then how do you convert it so that people end up clicking on your link? This is really important. You need to focus a lot about how to get people to actually convert, right? And like not only reading your blog article, but then going through the process of clicking on your link and buying a product, right? Because that's how you get the sale and how you make money at the end of the day, okay? So I first want to talk about free versus paid traffic. There is a difference between these um, in terms of getting money as an affiliate marketer. So the option that I suggest doing is organic traffic, which basically means um, you are building a website, you're building up social media, you're building that media brand, and people find you organically, like, like they search for something, they end up on your website, or they're looking at a hashtag on Instagram or on Twitter, and they end up on your, your page, right? That's organic free traffic. The best part about something like that is that you have no cost or you have very little cost. And so it's pretty much all profit when you go about that route uh, of affiliate marketing and building that media brand. 
The other option that is available is using paid traffic to make money as an affiliate marketer. Um, this is not one that I would really recommend, especially to beginners. We've done it in the past and we still do it sometimes where we will buy ads for our affiliate uh, website, for our affiliate uh, links. And you have to really be careful with this because a lot of companies don't allow it. So if a company doesn't allow it in their affiliate terms, don't do it. You're gonna get kicked out, it's not worth it. But some companies do allow it and they, they are fine with it. Um, so you can run ads sometimes depending on the affiliate program. I wouldn't recommend it though because it costs a lot of money, right? Um, and it's probably not the best route to go right off the bat. Uh, if anything, I would suggest doing the organic free traffic route first. And then once you build that up and you're making good money from it, then you can explore something like the paid route um, as an affiliate marketer, okay? So, um, and let me just show you what I mean by that specifically. Like if, if we look at like best mattresses on Google, all these sponsored ones here, a lot of these are actually um, affiliate websites. So like th these, these three sponsored ones here, like so mattressverdict.com, uh, they're probably not actually selling mattresses. This is just 2023's top 10 mattresses. They basically made this Google ad to their blog and then all of these here are affiliate links. Um, so it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, and so they're probably making like $100, $200 every time someone buys something through these affiliate links. And um, it's, yeah, it's like, it's probably working out for them pretty well, I would assume. Um, but yeah, like they, this is paid traffic, right? So uh, they're not ranking on Google, they're just buying like the top part on Google. And it's probably working for them, but I wouldn't recommend this to people who are just getting started. You can do that later on down the road, do it next year, two years from now, whatever, but start with the free organic traffic um, initially, okay? All right, so now let's talk about how do you actually scale this website um, and get as many page visits as possible. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find five competitors. I want you to find five websites, media brands that are very similar to what you're looking to build. And we're not gonna copy them, but we're going to take inspiration and we're going to uh, study them very closely at what they do right and what they do wrong to try to find out how do we build this in the best possible way. Um, and so uh, what you can do is, the best way to find this is just from Google searches, right? Like let's say that we're looking at um, Fidelity uh, versus M1 Finance, right? These are two different uh, investing uh, platforms. And let's say like Credit Donkey, right? So what we do now is we might identify as Credit Donkey as one of our potential competitors. This is someone who we think like that they might actually be making a lot of money from their affiliate website. Um, I, I wanna build something similar to this, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this domain here, creditdonkey.com, and we're gonna go over to uh, a website called SEMrush, okay? So copy this and we're gonna go to semrush.com. Um, and this, this program is, it, like, it does actually cost quite a bit of money. It's a bit expensive. So if you can't afford it, that's okay. You don't absolutely need it, but you'll see why I love using this tool and also why it's expensive because it's very useful. Um, so what I can do is I can just enter in um, creditdonkey.com and search for it. And it's going to show me basically uh, how this website is doing. Like this is one of my potential competitors, right? Um, and it's going to show me an estimation of the traffic that this website gets. Um, it's going to give it an, an authority score, but also it's saying that creditdonkey.com probably gets about 500,000 um, organic search traffic every month. So they're getting uh, 500,000 views per month on their website, mostly from the United States, some from the United Kingdom and Canada. Um, and it's also going to show us a part that is the most important here, which is top organic keywords that Credit Donkey is ranking for. Um, it's ranking for things like barbershop near me, haircut from me, uh, uh, near me, which is very interesting. But this is super useful information to see um, how this website is performing and then how you can potentially stack up and compare against them. Um, and so we can also look at their competitors, right? Like let's say we click on wallethacks.com and we can see that wallethacks.com is probably getting about 268,000 uh, organic search traffic hits per month, which is also a lot, um, especially in the blog world, that is a lot of page views per month. And I'll show you like their 
uh, uh, biggest keywords like VU stock is one of the biggest keywords that WalletHacks.com is ranking for. Um, it'll show you um, their distribution and their top paid keywords, um, some of their competitors, right? So we can just go through this and we can just like learn so much about all of our competitors. Um, and you'll learn other things about building websites. Like we have videos on this of like what backlinks are, follow versus no follow, the types of backlinks, um, referring domains, all that. You can learn that in different videos where we talk about blogging if you really want to get into those, which I would suggest. Um, but yeah, and then we can look at things like their growth report. Um, we can compare by countries, compare domains. Some of these things are going to want you to, uh, you know, pay extra to get like the really expensive plans. I would say that if you have the budget, it's worth it to get the uh, the expensive plan on SEMrush. If you don't have the budget, though, don't worry. Like you don't absolutely need this. It's just good data to have um, that, you know, yeah. If you can afford it, great. If not, no worries. You can still do basic Google searches to find uh, potential keywords to rank your blog for. Um, one of my favorite things to do as an affiliate marketer for building out the website is to make comparisons. So like, for example, um, and I know that these would rank, they would rank really well, um, is like, let's say that we compare two different finance apps to each other. So on um, M1 Finance versus Robinhood, and you make a full blog article about that. Uh, make another one of like, you know, Weeble versus Moomoo, or um, Weeble versus Fidelity. These are all investing apps that you can use, right? These are very specific things that thousands of people are searching every month on Google. There's not a lot of competition for them. And so we're going to make those articles uh, for all those different kind of verses, for those comparisons, for these investing apps. Um, and I know that we'll be able to rank them, assuming that we're able to, you know, write um, articles that are, you know, at least uh, 800 words, probably a bit longer than that, um, and start ranking on those, and then include our affiliate link throughout the article, right? So we'll create some buttons. Um, so that's the strategy that we're going to use. We're going to build those 30 blog articles. It's the backbone of our affiliate marketing business. Then after we build those 30 affiliate marketing, or sorry, those 30 blog articles, then we're going to focus on building out social media also um, to kind of get more brand exposure. So when people see your domain, when they see your site, they're more likely to click on it because they already recognize it from like TikTok or something else. Okay. So uh, build out those 30 articles, then you can go and focus more time on short form content, specifically TikTok and Instagram reels, and even YouTube shorts are going to be a great way to kind of uh, have top of funnel and then funnel them to your blog. Okay, so if you make TikToks, uh, you want to teach people something, you want to share something with them, and then at the end, you have a call to action to go to your website, they end up on your website, they go through and then they click on your affiliate link uh, after they read your article about the best investing apps, right? So that's a strategy that I think is the best route for getting uh, a lot of traffic, getting a lot of views, and ending up making a lot of money. All right, so that is the intro to affiliate marketing. If you want more information on this, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of other videos on this showing you how to build affiliate websites, showing you how to build out marketing channels, everything else that you need to know about scaling a business of this nature. We have it all on this channel. So go ahead, check out some of those other videos. I'll leave links to them down below in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I really do wish everyone the best of luck. You can always reach out to me on Instagram. I'll just put my Instagram handle up here. Um, and you know, if you have any questions, I, I will do my best to help you. I can't promise, you know, I get pretty busy. So if I don't respond, don't take offense, but I do my best to respond to people. So uh, thanks for watching. And I wish everyone the best of luck.